Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. The bottom of the deck is a star. Underneath the star is the four of pentacles. I'm sorry, underneath the star is the, the ten of cups. But I believe, what is this? The four of pentacles. So someone here is healing a situation and choosing now to build a very happy family. Yeah. Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. So it's, it's true. Someone here has discovered the truth about um, some type of third party, a karmic energy that's been in their life. I feel like this energy is being eliminated and now someone is going towards true love. There you have it. That's the reading. <laughs> Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Someone here is willing and ready now to put in the work to building a very solid relationship after being stuck in some type of mental entrapment, dealing with some type of deception or betrayal or just feeling down and out about something here. But the truth is coming out about this Queen of Wands energy. So the Queen of Wands could be someone, um, obviously someone very, you know, ambitious, fiery, passionate. All right, in good energy, of course, but the Queen of Wands also typically in tarot is seen as the other woman. That's your sexy seductress. Um, that's sometimes your mistress. That's your closet witch, okay? That's your very powerful manifester. All right, but people can use the law of attraction and manifestation to manifest good things and bad things. There is a masculine here who is seeing the truth about a Queen of Wands. OK, and they're seeing now that a queen of wands, they should have rejected this offer from this person or because of this queen of wands, they have missed out on an opportunity. So someone now the knight of swords here, they are rushing in to try and make some type of offer or to um, communicate some type of truth, make an apology here. Somebody wants to say I'm hearing. Let's set the record straight. All right. Now, this could be someone that is already this could be a situation that's already in your life. For some of you, this is an energy that is coming towards you. But what's happening is the reason why a person has not yet come towards you is because they're dealing with the situation with someone um, in their life currently. So, as I said, a lot of people you haven't even met um, like your romantic partner or their business partner or just someone who is destined to be in your life because they are wrapping up. Um, some type of karmic debt in their life and you may be going through the same thing but here you have someone that once they get their hands on you once they get to you they don't ever want to let you go you have the four of pentacles the ten of cups the star and the two of cups there is a lot of healing there is a destined like faded connection here between two people it's destined to go towards the ten of cups here someone is holding back right now okay or they're being held back by spirit because somebody it's like someone here they cannot be released into your life or you can't be set free to go into someone's life until you see the truth it's like spirit wanted you to know the whole truth about this queen of wands for some of you if it's not the masculine that's dealing with this queen of wands you could be a divine feminine you could have a friend a family member um someone in your life who has been really betraying you all right for some if this is two people who are coming into union you both have been under some type of attack from this queen of wands person this could be like the ex of someone like i said a friend a family member someone though has been obsessed with causing delays and creating situations where someone will deceive you or betray you but someone is coming in now they want to set the record straight or like I said, if this isn't the situation that you're dealing with, you're going to meet a person in the future. They're coming out of somewhat of a messy situation with someone where they're coming in and, and they have really good intentions, but they had to fight to get out of a situation that really was not in alignment for that particular person. Or this could be you take it how it resonates. But the emperor is here under the, the three of swords. So. I feel like the emperor here is seeing the truth about, like I said, this third party, this queen of wands. What did this queen of wands do? Um, let's see, wait a minute. So the reading went towards love today. So let's just see. Um, let me get a different deck to clarify what's going on. I'll get the modern love deck. Somebody here was really into expensive gifts and going out. 
expensive gifts and going out. Just happened to see the card. We'll come back to these to get our final messages. I have a bunch of decks around me. <laughs> so let's see what's what's going on here. There's actually another deck that's screaming out to me. Let me see something. So the truth is out, okay? This this truth is going to break like a very long cycle of karmic energy. If you've been like repeating cycles, for some of you, there's been a person maybe in your family or in your friend group that has sort of um, tried to keep you on some type of karmic wheel for a very long time. All right, this could be you or someone that you know or that you are connected to or about to connect with. This This energy is being eliminated though. Okay, so we have here watching you. Wow, and then the karmic. So the karmic is watching you. Now, I don't know for, for some of you if the karmic that's watching you, this could be a masculine or a feminine. Take it how it resonates. I'm, for some of you watching, you're a divine masculine. You could be a divine feminine. But the karmic is watching you. So it says, um, hmm. it's like, hmm. I'm sorry. I'm almost like tongue tied. I feel like this is a this is a clarity message for a lot of you. It's a confirmation. This card literally says they miss you, but they feel safer watching you from a distance or trying to overcome their fears by checking your social media. And it says karmic, even though this is a karmic connection, it is meant to help you grow and heal so that you may find your true soulmate or twin flame. So this is someone here who is this this emperor for some of you this is someone who may have thought that they had everything figured out life was going great they could have been married had a family um or just a long-term relationship with someone this person is probably watching you especially if you're a divine feminine they're watching you but i feel like there is some type of regret or disappointment obviously heartache here with the three of swords this person um you were meant to cross paths with this person to learn certain lessons. They're actually karmic to you. All right. Um, this situation, yeah, memories. So someone here is very stuck in regret and feeling very nostalgic. And they are, what you are probably recognizing here is that there's a lot of incompatibilities here with this person, but there were lessons to be learned. Now, what I'm, what I'm hearing now, okay, breakup. Look at this, breakup and blocked lessons so this could be one of two different situations some of you you have a person that is watching you from your past this could be anybody honestly someone is watching you from your past and they have regrets because they chose something over you and now they're realizing that they chose wrong i mean that's that's the narrative that we hear every every other day right but what i'm also getting is for some of you you may have a person that's entering your life or in your life they have someone from their past that they they were meant to be in a connection with to learn certain lessons but someone here is being blocked and there is a permanent breakup here there's a there's the ending of a major karmic cycle so i'm going to be honest looking at this three of swords here there is a there is a masculine out here who in order for them to become divine they may have to leave both like a an actual karmic person behind that they've been with as well as you you may feel like this is like a a serious connection and i'm not saying that it's not a serious connection but it was only meant for you to be this person's catalyst this to me, there's more than just like a divine person and a karmic. There's a catalyst here too, where someone was meant to experience a person and everything in that situation only to prepare them to go elsewhere. I mean, take it how it resonates, but for sure, somebody here is realizing that 
they had to go through certain situations here in order to learn the bottom of the deck is the emperor so this is the divine masculine that we're talking about you have the emperor here and the high priestess with the page of cups somebody's trying to find the strength now so somebody is really watching you heavily like to the point that they're stalking you and they're trying to figure out is it possible to have like a new beginning with the wheel of fortune here and the nine of cups they see you as wish fulfillment but yeah this person may even be trying to block you from having options yeah you, five of cups five of pentacles mm, you you probably need to be careful with this because what i'm seeing here is someone here is going through a breakup and they are thinking about someone in their life that they did have great compatibility with they may want to re-enter your life or re-enter the life of the person that you're supposed to be connecting with. But this is only going to... It's like someone wants to, at this point, block you from having options or they want to block you from connecting with someone. Somebody just... This is just a jealous, envious type of energy. I don't feel like this... It's not so much malicious, it's just, it's, but it, it's a possessive energy. Someone is like, listen, I'm single now. I learned my lesson. We should be together. And divine feminine hasn't come out. So I don't think that you want this offer. To the divine feminines, watch. I don't think that you want this offer from this person. But it's like now that you don't want their offer, they don't want you to have other offers or options. This is someone who left you out in the cold, devastated. And I think that now you've blocked this person and the seven of cups is here with the knight of cups. You have options and one of your options that's coming in is going to be a pretty good option for you. This emperor energy though is not having, like they don't want you to move on at all. They don't, they, they're like, no. This person is like, listen, I've learned a lesson elsewhere. I'm coming back now, but it's, I feel like divine feminine is saying, well, it's good that you learned a lesson, but I was a lesson for you too. So you have a masculine out here who has broken up and blocked the karmic, but they've lost their divine feminine too. This person here has to start over. Ooh, there's the empress. And look at here is the ten of swords. The magician and the queen of wands. I don't know what is going on here. The Queen of Wands, I told you, this Queen of Wands was doing some type of manipulation or manifestation for some even spell work, and it has resulted now in an actual divorce, a breakup. The Empress now is being sought after by someone new, or this actual masculine is going back to this divine feminine. Take it however it resonates. I feel like Divine Feminine has a new option. So this is like Divine Feminine. You have a brand new connection either in your life or about to enter your life. And you have something in the background with a karmic soulmate of yours that's now going through judgment and having an ending with their karmic soulmate. They're looking at coming towards you, but it's a lot of projection, watching, and stalking. This person isn't making a move towards you because at this point, they still can't actually make a move. This person is going through a, a really bad breakup or like a divorce. Yeah, but you're in this very feminine-like energy. The Queen of Cups and the Queen and the Empress here together, the world. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. So you've already ascended. And there's a new option here. So somebody here just missed out on an opportunity. The Four of Cups. This masculine missed out on an opportunity to have something that was destined before. And the reading that I did yesterday, I said like there's a brand new twin flame soulmate contract that God has pretty much signed and delivered to those of you who have been in this season of preparation or waiting, nesting or whatever. The people who could not get it together, it's like the wheel has turned and they missed it. Somebody here has missed the boat. They just missed it. It took them too long, but I mean, the good thing is that they learned lessons. But someone here thought that they could leave someone behind, divorce that person and come towards you. And you've already 
ascended and, and moved in a different direction. So they can't even come towards you because it took them too long to leave that other person and to recognize the truth about that situation. It's, so now somebody here, there's a masculine who just has to realize that they just, they have to take a major loss. They just have to deal with this karma. Yeah, somebody here lost you because they refused to walk away from a karmic. Now they're walking away and they want to come in, but it's not something that has been ordained by God. God is saying, no, there's something brand new here for you. Ace of Wands, a brand new passion and beginning. This here is, is an ending because there's two people. This masculine was with someone that they knew they were extremely unhappy with. And they were fantasizing about having a brand new offer, making an offer to a divine feminine, but they didn't. They continued to deal with that other person. So now this person wants to come in for some of you on bended knee and, and try to beg for you to come back. But I think that you already have someone else in your energy or someone, yeah, someone in your life or in your energy that's going to want to actually be with you. Yeah, the King of Cups is here. So you have the King of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Judgment with the Tower. Somebody here is like blown away because you know what this is? Spirit is, is showing me exactly what it is now. Let me tell you what's going on. <laughs> it all just came together. This reminds me of that karmic couple that has been coming out in the readings for like the last year. I feel like you have a masculine here who has, has like narcissistic traits this person thought that a divine feminine will forever wait and i feel like this masculine used a lot of tactics of manipulation and other things to keep this divine feminine in waiting they were being manipulated by a karmic i feel like now they're finally waking up to the truth about this karmic that they chose over divine feminine now they're re they're finally ready to leave that person behind they're going towards divine feminine now, but divine feminine has someone. This is like major karma. This person feels like they're going to run to divine feminine and start a new life. And it's like when they get to divine feminine, there's another person that's going to be opening the door. It's like somebody, somebody may actually try to pop up at your house or something because that's what I'm seeing. Like I'm literally seeing a man go like to approach the door of a divine feminine and I promise when he knocks on the door, another man was going to open the door. Somebody lost their divine feminine. And that, that kind of, that same story kind of came out in the reading yesterday, but it's like another confirmation. I feel like a lot of masculines are like feeling like they still have a chance and they don't like, there's a karmic cycle that is completely over. It's null and void. Like I said, there's a new contract that has been signed, sealed, and delivered. There's there's no going back. Because somebody is going towards this Ten of Cups now. Yeah. This is a huge, huge burden to this person. Somebody thought that, and, and I do feel like there's probably been some type of spell work or magic or something. Somebody thought that they could stop a divine feminine from moving into a relationship. And if it wasn't a masculine, this could have been, like I said, a friend, a family member. Somebody really thought that they had this perfect plan to stop a divine feminine from going into a partnership. I'm also seeing, too, where a karmic feminine was trying very hard to stop a masculine from going towards a divine feminine, that manipulation, spell work, or whatever has backfired. And it has really backfired because the truth is this divine feminine and this masculine, they are no longer in a contract together. So when the karmic feminine decided to keep doing magic on this divine feminine to try and keep this masculine away, she eliminated this masculine from this divine feminine's life and divine feminine is now going towards someone brand new. But she also manifested an, a permanent ending and for some, a breakup with her and this masculine. Somebody here was trying to do way too much with 
trying to dictate and control someone else's love life and it has backfired it it, it, it made everything just completely fall apart some people, if they don't break up or divorce, they're just going to be doomed to being together and unhappy forever. Like literally until death do them part, they they will forever be with one another and just unhappy. And this is someone's karma. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. Yeah, someone is up all night. They're missing a lot of sleep. They're they're devastated. They're angry, envious, jealous. Like someone, they can't believe what has happened. Because I'm telling you, somebody really thought that they were going to block something good from happening to a divine feminine and or a divine masculine. And everything backfired. Someone has cursed themselves to whatever life that they try to project onto someone else. They cursed themselves to to hell on earth. Seven of Swords, yeah. Look, you literally have the Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. This is this is all bad. Heartbreak, insomnia, gel. Just <laughs> mental health issues, stress, fear, anxiety. And this is all because of someone's evil plot, plan, or strategy to keep someone, the chariot, from moving forward. And I feel like a lot of you, you're still moving forward, unbothered. Somebody, they can't believe that you escaped this, this trap that they set. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands. You're moving forward to working on creating a more firm foundation, having a partnership, possibly going towards, you know, a long-term relationship, marriage, commitment, new house, new business, whatever. Somebody's evil plan. And this is the truth about this queen of, of wands. This queen of wands made this masculine miss an opportunity with the divine feminine. And the, because the divine, this masculine refuse to see the truth about this queen of wands they now are stuck in this mental imprisonment dealing with all of the heartache the pain the devastation and the betrayal because they never ever did anything to actually fight for this divine feminine somebody is going to pay for this this masculine has to pay for allowing this karmic to do so much to this divine feminine and the partnership that they were supposed to have divine feminine is free and clear divine feminine now can move on to something brand new and this will just be a thing of the past but whatever this situation is it will forever haunt this karmic masculine and this karmic feminine like i said they could be breaking up or they will be forced to stay together and be unhappy forever <laughs> This, 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 these, these people are just being judged, and it's a harsh judgment. Whoa, the magician, page of cups, the sun, knight of wands, six of wands, the ten of wands. Your burdens have been released. It's over. Archangel Michael has come in to show you the truth about all these illusions with the chariot here so that you can move away from, yes, all of the tricks of the devil. Seven of swords and the devil. You were not caught by this situation at all. It didn't catch you. Instead, what you manifested was a brand new beginning. Some of you are manifesting a child. Or just a new business, a new offer, an opportunity, something that's going to bring you a great deal of joy. You're being blessed with this because of your strength to overcome all of these challenges and to be enlightened. And the fact that you continue to press forward and be a being of love and light instead of turning real dark and nasty. Even though people were trying to manipulate you, do magic or whatever. Now you have all of this beautiful, like this opt optimism and 
this passion where you're going towards having a lot of victory. There's also, if someone has been trying to block an offer from going towards a divine feminine, especially, there's a masculine that's coming in and they're ready to move you away from all of the conflict and the drama. Like literally they're rushing in to try and save the day. So while these people were working against you to, um, in hopes that you would have like bad karma, you actually manifested your, your heart's true desires. So this may be weird, but for some of you, yeah, like the person that you were originally supposed to be with, that that's no longer your person. They forfeited the contract that they had with you because when they were being nudged by spirit or when you told them that they needed to see the truth about someone, they didn't believe it. And so now they're stuck in another cycle with that person. They're stuck there. They can't get out. And you now are moving away from all of this drama victoriously, confidently. You you just made it out. You're, you made that final push to get out of this karmic cycle and you made it. And any type of illusions or confusion that was here, I feel like this King of Swords, Archangel Michael just came in to say, no, enough is enough. You worked hard enough already to master yourself. It's like, God is like, why would I allow you to keep on being stuck at a crossroads because of this karmic couple or whomever? You've already leveled up and graduated from this. So, yeah, now you get to have peace, contentment, happiness, wish fulfillment, a very beautiful life because you walked away from the past. Even though the people in your past, they really thought that they had won against you. They didn't. So that's the backstory here. Um, I want to just clear these cards away and let's look at what's coming in new. Somebody is really in their feelings because this story keeps coming out. But there's just more um, layers to the story and the situation that keeps coming out. It's, it's undeniable. Like somebody knows that they really, really messed up. So that lets me know that for some of you, you know, there's someone new in your life or in your energy. It really has someone very bothered because they did everything to stop you from having love or happiness or any type of just peace in your life. They did a lot and it didn't work. And this person, they know it didn't work because they're probably experiencing some serious karma themselves. And they're like I said, they're stuck in some type of situation. Somebody here could have to go through a really bad divorce right now. Well, they will probably lose everything, whether it's the masculine or this karmic person. Someone here is going to lose a lot in a very, very nasty divorce because of all of the things that they did against you. I feel like like Archangel Michael, God just got so mad, like seeing these people do all this to you. They was just like, you know what? I tell you what, I'm going to t eliminate this, this masculine and this, this karmic feminine. I'm going to eliminate both of them. So something in your life has just been completely cleared out. Like completely. <laughs> because these people, they just refuse to leave you alone. And I think that some of you, you, you may have kept your, your, um, you may have really had high hopes for the person that you, you know, thought was your counterpart and they just, they couldn't get it together. And so they just, they had to be eliminated. Just what it is. They just, they had to go. They did, it was like you either get right or you get left. They had to get left behind. I just don't know what cards to use. I know what I want to use. Let's, see. Let's use these. Yeah. Here's the lovers and the seven of swords. There was a lot of deception. The seven of swords sometimes also, it's not always a scheme or scam. It's also strategy. You guys now are being more strategic and intentional when it comes to your love life. And with the lovers here, the lover speaks of a choice. Okay. You're seeing that there's a situation in your life that it may appear to be good. You had high hopes for, but there was more going on than what meets the eye. And you most likely had to make the decision to just move in a totally different direction. 
and that was the best thing for you. Someone is in the background, though, seeing that they made the wrong choice by choosing someone else instead of you. What is this good energy coming in for the collective? Okay. This is a tower. Your life, it's a life experience, a life changing event is happening. Powerful revelations that lead to really big changes in your life. And I just noticed here at the bottom of the deck that I just set aside is a tower. So like I said, there's a double tower moment happening because not only is this karmic feminine for a lot of you experiencing a tower, but this person that was in your life that allowed this person to constantly bring about so much um, bad luck and send this evil eye and do all of this manipulation toward, they're going to receive karma because they pretty much put you in harm's way by allowing this person to work against you because they never stood up for you they never tried to protect you they never separated themselves from any from the person that was attacking you they now have to share their karma this is a double tower moment happening and it's going to hit someone's finances i can i can guarantee it's going to hit their finances because most likely this karmic couple they came together because of finances and they probably try to energy harvest, they probably try to harvest your energy for the sake of finances. This was like some type of business deal or arrangement between these two karmic people. So here we have the hermit, which is Virgo energy. This full moon in Virgo with, like I said, Saturn entering Pisces, there's a double tower happening now. You've mastered yourself. Um, yeah, you've discovered something about yourself and this, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're being rewarded now with this Ace of Pentacles. This is a huge offer you have coming in. A lot of um, new contracts, business deals, a lot of abundance coming, I feel, in all areas of your life. But someone, they're going to get hit in the pockets and your pockets are going to start overflowing with abundance. Okay. Because, like I said, there was a karmic couple that was working against you. It's like somebody chose someone over you because they wanted some type of get-rich-quick situation. Um, they were scheming, scamming, or whatever. The whole point was for them to come together and make money. They didn't care anything about the divine union that could have been, that, that could have existed between you and this other person. They decided to go towards someone for superficial surface level conventional reasons now they're seeing the truth that was a huge mistake but see these people they went too far six of six of cups yeah somebody here is reminiscing over the past this karmic situation is going to make somebody really probably have to figure out the truth about their their past but that's not your that's not your your fault or your problem. Like you did what you were supposed to do. What you have now is this double tower happening. So there's a tower happening for this karmic couple that worked against you, and there's a tower happening in your life. The tower happening in your life is you now are being recognized for your level of self mastery, for the way that you've been able to learn so much on your spiritual path and journey and as a result of that now you are being blessed with all of the things that you probably always wanted ever since you were a child everyone has a dream of what they want their life to be like and it may have seemed far-fetched at some point because there was so much manipulation spell work magic and other things working against you but you now are the high priestess and because of your spiritual gifts talents and abilities you now have been able to drop a lot of burdens with the Ten of Wands being here. And it's opening up the door now to wish fulfillment. And there is an offer that's entering your life. This offer is going to take you to the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. So that means here that you have the Pentacle, okay, and the Sun. This is fertility. It's, it's abundance, okay? A seed in good soil with good sunlight, it, it produces a harvest.
you're going to be able to um, go back to a time in your life where you truly were happy or someone is going to come into your life and they're going to make you feel young and vibrant like a child. Like you're going to feel forever young moving forward because all of this doom and gloom energy is being eliminated. The high priest is the ten of wands. Yeah, like your intuition has allowed you now to break through some major barrier in your life. To break some type of hex or curse. This is so good. And what you're going to have is the star. Wish fulfillment. Hopes and dreams fulfilled. A partnership and a lot of money. <laughs> yep. And I think that you're being rewarded for some of you. Because I just saw the four of cups. But it, it, it went back into the deck. The four of cups though is being bored, discontent possibly missing out on opportunities. I feel that a lot of you, you had the power to see through a situation, to see the truth, and you rejected an offer that had you accepted it, it was going to keep you on this, this cycle. Yeah, something here was an illusion. It was false. Seven of Cups. Something here was going to put you in a, in a karmic cycle of procrastinating and being confused, and you were just going to be stuck on a karmic wheel. But instead, you had an awakening. Look at that. The hangman and the star. You went through an awakening. The star is out here twice. You're going towards, like, the ultimate wish fulfillment. The two of wands, that means that you were confident in making a decision. And for some of you, you, you confidently made the decision to leave behind this queen of pentacles this queen of, and this queen of wands. There could have been an earth sign masculine here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And a fire sign, karmic feminine, could have been Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. These two people were working together. They have some type of arrangement where they make money together, possibly. You had to make the decision to turn your back. You could have been in some type of connection with one of these people, okay? Could have been this king of pentacles. Maybe you wanted a life with this person, but this queen of wands was always in the middle, always causing interference. This queen of wands convinced this king of pentacles that... You were not their counterpart, and they decided to build a life with this person. So you had to make the decision, Eight of Cups, to walk away. Yeah, and not be stuck in ego. Not fall victim to codependency. This ego card is the devil. To not be trapped in any type of self-limiting beliefs or of thinking that you won't find true love again. You finally have the strength to walk away, and that's why justice is being served. You didn't let this person, you know, you, you blocked this energy out. And you were protected. Here's the seven of wands, the empress, and the freaking four of wands, and the three of cups. You are being celebrated. Oh, my God, divine feminines. The four of wands, that's being content. It's happiness. It's peace. It's, it's this. All of this here. It's, it's the, the perfect home life, family life, financial abundance. Like literally being in, in bliss. It's you giving birth to all of your dreams. Having like for some of you a more lavish, luxurious life if that's what you want. But really just having peace and being happy. Three of, of cups here. This is you celebrating. Some of you, you will have a connection and it will lead to, you know, a marriage, a wedding. There could be the birth of a child here. You're going to go out and have fun. You're going to meet people that you can enjoy your, your life with and you don't have to look over your shoulder. I just wonder what exactly is going to happen to this karmic couple. Because this tower, like they're going to be eliminated. Like Spirit is making it clear that you won't have to worry about them anymore. So like, where are they going? What's happening, What's happening with them? Because this person is going to be in despair, but... This tower is like they're wiped out. They can't touch you anymore. I don't even think that they're going to be allowed to try you anymore. There's a permanent ending happening. Let's see. You have here the child card. Hmm. Child. Oh, expectation and child. Okay. Some of you... In the future, you you can expect a new beginning. Some of you can expect a child, a new business venture, 
a new baby, something new, but why is, I'm asking about this karmic couple, so, ooh. These people, oh my goodness, y'all, I just want to stop right now. These people are going to, they could possibly receive bad news about a new business venture that they have or even something with one of their, like their child or their children. This karma is going to hit, like I said, the karma that they're receiving is going to hit their money and their family. I said, I said that, I mean, that's just how karma works though. If someone here, especially because fertility magic has been coming out a lot, if someone has been doing womb magic or fertility magic on a divine feminine, they're going to be receiving a message of concern soon about like their child, their children, or some type of new venture that they were supposed to have in their life. I'm almost scared to see what cards are going to come out. Seriously. occupation so like i said this is going to hit somebody's pockets somebody here if they were expecting to do something new with business obviously to secure a future for their children oh my look at this the great fortune card just popped out in the reverse i told you privileged lady none of these cards in this deck are in the reverse but the way that card just fell out it was in the reverse so these people here can expect to lose all of their fortune. There's something, the child card can represent a new beginning. They were expecting some type of abundance and they probably were getting this abundance off of scheming or scamming divine feminine or using your energy. They're gonna lose everything. No matter how hard they worked on this, it, damn, coughing. I, you see, I can't, coughing, poverty, it's an ending. That gravy train just stopped completely. You see the car, the cars don't, if you don't want to hear what I say, that's fine. The cars don't lie. Poverty and coughing. Concern. Yes. This masculine is concerned. Now about the choices that they made, the journey that they took, and now it has led to being in a mental imprisonment, them possibly going to jail and being in bad health. That is their portion. That is their karma. Well, dang. Well, I mean, I, like I said, the gravy train just stopped. <laughs> You, could, you should have known it wasn't going to choo-choo forever, right? <laughs> As for you guys, though, you have fire and desire. Very new, fiery, passionate connection with someone. Lots of chemistry. Okay. So, ghosting came out here and divine flame. Instantly, I'm getting... Especially for the group of you where you've already met someone. If there has been issues in that connection, it was probably due to the evil eye being sent by your ex and someone that they're with or someone just in your environment, whether you know them or not, has been sending you the evil eye so that someone will possibly ghost you or they wouldn't communicate with you. But this is a divine flame. So if there has been some type of, you know, challenges with communication, it won't last long. This this was not something that was natural. This was being done. Yeah, divine flame. I can't make it up. And wedding. Somebody wanted a person to ghost to you, or just for you to not have come like communication with someone. Or this is saying for some of you who have been in a situation where you dealt with this person from your past and they were always ghosting you, don't allow that situation to taint your view or perspective when it comes to having a new love don't expect the worst don't think that people are going to play games with you and ghost you and deceive you and hurt you like this person did that cycle a chapter of your life is over you're going to meet someone that's going to affirm you okay they are going to be very mature very romantic they want a partnership and they want to give you a peace of mind this is someone coming into your life that you will be able to express your true feelings with this person. 
and you don't have to worry about every time you tell them how you feel, they turn, you know, they decide to gaslight you or manipulate you or give you the silent treatment and, and ghost you. Because I feel like for some of you, that's what has happened in the past. When you presented your true authentic feelings and your true authentic self to someone, they will ghost you and go back to this karmic person. And it probably has left you a bit traumatized where now you're afraid to even open up. You have someone coming up, coming into your life, though. It's a divine flame and it could lead to, to a wedding. Now, for some of you, maybe it's a past person returning. For some of you, it's brand new. But you do have true love entering your life. Yeah, old feelings. See what I'm saying? These old feelings, I feel, of having like that passion for someone, wanting to be with them, but them ghosting you, this may resurface for some of you. And it's really because that person is projecting their energy onto you. But you guys are about to be a power couple with someone that you're going to really travel travel with. You're going to have good money and finances because money and everything is about to look really good for you. Because whoever has been tapping into your energy, like getting readings on you, using divination, spying, all of that to try and read your energy um, to figure out what you have coming in so that they can try and take it for themselves, that's over. You've already grown and ascended to a point where they can't touch you. And so you're going to see a serious decline in someone's life. Spirit just said, no, you won't. So you won't see them. So I don't know where they're going, but Spirit just said they clearly, no, you won't. <laughs> so you won't be seeing them. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here come, here come the goons of the ancestors coming out. I said, no, you won't see them. <laughs> so you've been patiently waiting on a very good type of love. And this person is going to be the best part of your life. They're going to understand your love language and they're going to give you butterflies. So that's very beautiful. Continue to be patient and stay the course. Yeah. Someone from your past, this jealous, envious person, they may want to try and communicate with you. There's really nothing left to be said. This person has done some really awful things to you both alone and with other people to try and sabotage your life. Yeah. I'm also getting to, for some of you, if you've had some type of issue in your relationship recently, if you are already involved with someone where communication has been difficult, possibly because of spell work, that person is going to be communicating to you very soon that they're falling in love with you. They're going to let you know that you're like the best part of their life. They're falling in love with you and they really want something um, serious with you. This person could have been fighting against like some control issues, but they're your life partner. Or you've been trying to control the situation. Like there's uh, control is being here because someone is afraid to lose a person. I feel like this is more of a new energy around you where it's like, you're af you're afraid of history repeating itself. You're ref you're afraid, of, or this person that you're connected to, they're afraid of losing you because I do feel that for some of you, you've had a relationship that has um, been targeted by a group or a karmic couple, and they sent a lot of chaos and conflict to whatever your good thing is, and it could have made you or someone sort of have a, a temporary like separation. Where one of you or both of you kind of ghosted one another. This was because of spell work. That's going to pass. Or some kind of manipulation. And remember, like I said, for some of you, if the karmic couple or whomever isn't in your life, the person that you're connected to, they could have someone in their life that's sending the evil eye and doing a lot of spell work, causing that, per that person to like treat you you know, in a way that you're not used to them treating you in hopes that they will turn their back on you. Somebody has just been in the background creating a lot of turbulence in hopes that it will lead to you either breaking up with someone or you will become so um, upset that you will fall into some type of cycle of not believing in love and you wouldn't go out and keep trying to manifest love and meeting new people. So it, it, it's one of, of two things, or it could be both. Somebody is either trying to keep you stuck in the past 
or thinking about the past, like I said, just so that you can't enjoy someone that's already in your life or so that you can't meet someone new. This 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 was an epic fail for whoever did this, though, because they're about to lose everything for going against you. Because, again, as I've been saying for several weeks now, many of you, a lot of your abundance is very much tied to the person that you're connected with. A lot of you will be a power couple and you're meant to build something really, really big. And so if people have been stealing your energy and causing turbulence in your life. God is very angry because God is like, I'm trying to take this divine feminine and masculine, these kingdom partners. I'm trying to take them somewhere. And here these agents of the devil are thinking that they can control God's plan. And this, that was real bad because obviously there's something really major that a lot of you are supposed to be doing. And it is tied for some of you to your partner. You're supposed to, you know, build businesses, have children, um, make changes in your family and your community in the world or whatever you're supposed to be doing these people who have been in the background causing issues they have to go by any means necessary and if that means that they have to be stuck in poverty or in jail or even no longer in in this world like that's what it is because they've done entirely too much